Hello guys and very welcome to this video. I finally have a chance to open up a battery module from Volkswagen ID3 here. So this module are coming from a crashed car that actually went uh, off-road and hit a huge stone there. So that stone was uh, hitting the battery from uh, the underneath and made a huge dent here in this uh, end cap to this battery module. Uh, so my plan here is to uh, open it up because we are actually missing one cell when I check the cell voltage inside of this module. So something has happened to the balance lead inside of it. And my plan is to open it up and take a look and see if we can find any fuse or if it is a burnt balance lead. So that's what I am going to try to find here. I will now take my high precision cutting tool and open this battery module up. Here we go guys! Okay, here we have it guys, let me take off this first. Here we have this battery module opened up, at least the uh, rear end of it. So this is not the terminal side. And uh, we can see that we have six tiny fuses here. So I don't know the, the rating of those, but I will try to find that out. And as you can see here, we probably have one broken here because this looks pretty burned. And uh, my plan is just to remove this uh, ribbon cable together with those fuses and do a load test on them later on. And uh, we can also see that uh, those tabs that come from the cells are uh, connected in pairs. So each and every welding points here are connected to um, two cells. So we have uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22 and 24 cells in total and that was uh, of course expected. So I will just cut away this ribbon cable and then I probably will open up this module a little more.
Okay, so everything is now taken apart here. So I will just bring the camera so you will have a closer look on those stuff here. So here is the end cap, not, nothing special with this. And here are the bus bars. And here you can see where those uh, ribbon cables have been uh, attached to the bus bars. So. Here is where the BMS will um, take the current to balance the cells. And here are the bus bars on the terminal side. And you can see those tabs here. And also the cell tabs of course. And here are the terminal itself. So I have done a cut there. So that's me. And here's the other one. And then we have those balance leads and balance fuse. And here is the burnt one and uh, yeah. So you will have nine on the terminal side here, directly under a connector to the balance leads. And you will have six 
on the other side. So in total you will find 15 tiny fuses inside of this battery module. And then we have the cell here of course, but sadly I was not able to remove it without puncture it. So that said, I tried there for two hours. And I removed two and you can see the second one that was sitting even harder in this uh, heat paste here. So this is like uh, some kind of cement or something. It was really hard to uh, try to loosen those cells. So I might find another way to do this if I try to do this one more time. Yeah, and here is the end of this module. And this is the terminal side. And here you can see the cells are connected in pairs like so. And uh, yeah, here are the uh, aluminium case. And this aluminium here was <laughs> very strong. It was much harder than I had, uh, had expected there. And then of course we had this plastic sheet that was laying on top on this uh, module or those cells here. And you will find one temp sensor in each end of this module. So that's really nice. Well, then we know guys, there is fuses inside of this battery module that will protect your balance lead from burning a hole in those cells if you have any short in the BMS or something like that. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you find this video a little bit interesting and uh, well, I hope I see you next time. Take care and goodbye.